Now let's understand the value of cross elasticity, the numerical that we get from cross elasticity and the type of goods that it relates to. If we get the elasticity as negative, now negative elasticity means that there is an inverse relation and we've just now done that there is an inverse relation between the complementary goods. The price of one complementary good inversely affects the quantity of other complementary goods. So there is a negative relation and negative relation implies complementary goods. Zero. Zero cross elasticity. Zero cross elasticity means there is no change in quantity demanded. Quantity demanded remains the same. So when price of a product is changed, the quantity of other product remains the same. That means there is no relation between the two. The price of one is not affecting the quantity of other, which simply implies that there is no relation between the two goods. Thus, if the elasticity, that is the cross elasticity of any good is zero, we can say that the elasticity is between two unrelated goods. Unrelated. There is no relation. They are neither substitutes nor complements. And if there are and if there is a positive relation, positive relation means when the price of one good is raised, the consumption of other good increases. This is possible in case of substitutes, where the price of Pepsi will be raised, the consumption of Coke suddenly will increase because people who consume Pepsi will shift to Coke. So we can say that there exists a direct relation and when there is a direct relation, the answer, the numerical of the cross elasticity will always be positive. And this is possible in case of substitutes. Infinity. Infinity means there is indefinite change in demand with no change in price of a related good. That means related good becomes the perfect substitute of the good that is being considered because even without a change in price, there is a change in demand. That is, people are indifferent to consumption of either. This is only possible in case of a perfect substitute. Where one good is a perfect substitute of the other, it doesn't matter if the price changes or no. People may choose to consume either of them. So, the cross elasticity in case of perfect substitutes will always be infinity in case of perfect substitutes. This brings us to the end of the topic elasticity of demand.